Welcome back to the Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as pressing that subscribe button, tapping the bell, and making sure to select all to receive all of my future postings. So today I am going to take you on to my back stone patio that I absolutely am loving. We've had to have it cleaned because it's been, and I have a video um, out there as well showing the cleaning process of all the stone um, here at the cottage. And then I also had to condition the stone and there's a video of that as well where I put a nice conditioning um, on top of the stone to really warm things up. So in this video, what I'm going to be sharing is painting the railing with the same paint that we used on our front door um, from uh, Fine Paints of Europe and quite a bit of decorating and also putting florals into pots. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? So I already painted this railing. I just made sure to tape around so it would not get onto the stone and ignore all that mess down there. That is another video. <laughs> right now we're just going to work on top of the patio. So you can see the difference how this side has not been painted. It's all flat and not shiny and new and so I have it all taped off and I wrapped plastic around the trees. Had to make sure that no paint got onto the trees and now it's nice and shiny and new. Again I used the fine paints of Europe. There's nothing like having that nice, fresh, painted piece out outside. You can see the pole right there, the shepherd's hook, that has not been painted yet. But later on in the video, you'll see that I did paint, it, paint that piece. And this is a concrete, a fleur-de-lis concrete uh, fountain that I purchased from a nursery. I like having water features out on my patio area. And this is the first of many to come. It's very solid, sturdy, doesn't get any better than solid concrete. Just the right aged look and soon a wonderful sound for myself and the birds to hear. As you can see, the patio is a smaller size, so I had to make sure to have a smaller fountain. Now we're gonna add on the patio furniture. I decided to go with a round table and this was purchased through Wayfair. And I went round um, because of the space that we have. A long rectangular would not have worked as well. And I like how the table is round on this like rectangular type of patio. It does give some fabulous visual interest.
and I added in the umbrella stand and six chairs came with this table. The cushions, I'm gonna work with these cushions for now. I do like a thicker cushion um, that I sit on, but it came with the set, so we're gonna work with it. They are by Sumbrella. Very nice detailing on the table and the chairs. A nice warm color. And you can see like bits of, um, of a bronze color coming out off of the chairs and the table. I placed the umbrella in. This was also purchased from Wayfair. A black umbrella. It is Sumbrella. Sumbrella just works. Um, I've used them for years. And when you have that sun beating down on your pieces, it just likes to fade things quite quite quickly. And Sumbrella, it, it, their fabrics really hold up nicely. It's just very simple. It just cranks right up. And it also will tilt. I just have to keep cranking it and the umbrella starts to tilt in whatever direction I need it to go. So I now have all the chairs around the table, the umbrella set up. We're getting closer. We're going to enjoy some nice times out here this summer. Now we're going to fill in some of the empty spaces. And we're going to start with these concrete planters that I purchased from Lowe's. They work nicely with the color uh, in the stone. And I purchased a couple um, cone boxwoods. Love the boxwoods. I have miracle Grow and Manure mixed in together, so they should be nice and happy. But boxwoods give such a nice English garden feel. And I love everything about an English garden. Next, I'm going to add in some verbena. This floral really um, does well in the summertime. It's my first time planting it here in Virginia. We'll see how it how it goes, but I believe it'll do well. They love sunshine. They thrive in the heat. And I love the purple color. This is actually more of a lighter lavender color. And look at these poor little sad, <laughs> I feel bad, creeping jennies. They were ready to plant weeks ago. They're so sad. And back out here, I have so many different pieces moving, going on. I have some high-performance enamel spray paint from Rust-Oleum. This is the best spray paint I have ever used on my metal pieces and this little gadget goes on top of the spray can so you don't have to get that trigger finger and as you can see they're quite rusty sun worn i love this piece right here and we're going to change that this basket i've actually already decorated with this piece in my living room during the marathon if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. That was a great one, a decorating marathon. 
So I'm just gonna flip them all over and start from the bottom. I'm just gonna demonstrate a little bit just how great this paint covers. fabulous coverage on that and look I'm just going over one or two times and you're already seeing the difference me doing that and it truly does dry in just 15 minutes unless it's a really humid day then it'll be different so I have my fountain going now and I planted this little ivy topiary using a form. The water feature is just fabulous. I can, it seems like the birds are just singing louder since I've turned it on. And then the planter was placed in the back corner. And I added some lighting going around the rail and I, do, I still need to add a couple more. And I purchased the lighting tube from, um, or tubes from Bed Bath. So now I'm just gonna add in a little bit of color, not too much because we're still have to go to California. I have a geranium up in the window for right now. It won't be staying there. It'll move when I get back from California. So I'm going to be using these three different potted plants. We have these fun curly ivies right here. They're so playful. I love everything about the curly ivy. Beautiful variegated color. And then my favorite floral, the hydrangea. And these are, these are called swirls. I love the green in with the pinks and look at all the budding down there waiting to burst with wonder and some creeping Jenny and also some periwinkle. I love to have floral cascading down off of my pots and some beautiful violas. Just look at that rich, rich purple with the perfect buttercream throat right in the center. So I placed the hydrangea up on top and the Creeping Jenny will eventually start falling down and going through the stand. And of course, the Periwinkle is going to do the same thing. Down at the bottom to the right, I added in the Viola. And I, I love to have a, a variety of different colors um, when planting. And then I tucked in the curly ivy. And it, it just made the whole arrangement just seem, it just gave it a playful feel. Like, again, I love the curly ivy. And I'm gonna keep it right like this for right now. Again, I'm keeping things simple until I get back from California because people have to come and water these while we're gone. I added in three shepherd hooks in the back. And I will be placing these wonderful lanterns um, on the hooks. 
All three came from Home Goods, and I wanted two of them just to be a nice round sphere, and the one in the center like a water drop. I just wanted some variation with the lanterns, and I'm just going to be working with these three on the hooks for now, but we'll be adding more in the pine trees. Fabulous. I absolutely love it. We have different shapes. I put them all at different levels, and I will continue to do that throughout the pines. Lighting feature is so important on patios during the evening. It definitely makes for a wonderful gathering. And they are solar. And the lanterns actually pull out the golden bronze color from the table as well. Now to make a couple lanterns for the table. The lanterns were clearanced at Bed Bath and I also purchased the River Rocks there. And then I have two flameless candles that are in my Amazon storefront. You can visit that by pressing on my link in the description box. These stones, I would have to say, are just my favorite. It's like butterscotch. They're butterscotch stones. Beautiful. And I like these as well. Because it does give us, you know, a good variety of color, having the darker stones. have to keep that visual interest going. So what I'm planning on doing here is just taking half from each one. Now when working with stone, I'm sure many of you already know this, just don't drop it in glass. Even if it's small pebbles, we should never mishandle our decor pieces anyways. We should always be so very gentle when decorating our pieces because they do make our homes lovely. But what I'm planning on doing here, well, what I'm going to try out is just putting half and, and each of the lanterns. So half of the stones from one and half from the other. And we'll see how that works out. Again, just try your best to be so gentle. So look, all that gorgeous butterscotch color. I love working with the stone. Just going to mix it. Then I'm just going to place the candle right in the center. Now at first I thought I was going to place it in between the stone, but then I decided, you know, it, it would look gorgeous right on top. I'm just going to add some stone around it. More stone, actually. Here we have it. Perfect lanterns. Look at the stone 
up against all the greenery and all the florals. It just, um, it, I'm glad. I'm glad I chose to add some stone inside these lanterns. I made sure to face them in two separate directions because I want the people on the left to see the flame of the candle and the people on the right as well. Now here's, here is a product that is fabulous that everyone should use. It's called Wipe New by Rustoleum. My husband has used this product for years on his vehicle to restore um, certain trim pieces. And I thought when I purchased these mats, okay, they look old. They're still in excellent condition. This is a prep wipe. You use this to clean the mat first. And then this will make the color um, come more alive, look fresh again. So I was telling my husband, I must use your product. So he went and purchased me some and look at the difference. It makes it look brand new all over again. I wasn't sure if you could see this or not because I could not see my camera because it was so hot and humid during this video right here. The sun was right on my back, but look at the difference. So I will be placing the wipe new on all of my mats. And here they are. They look great up against the stone. I did share these in a previous haul um, video that I had and one under the door. Now this door right here will be getting changed out, not today. This will happen again after California, but I do want something a bit different right there for my security door. And then I will be adding in my husband's Traeger right here up front and in the back probably some more floral. We'll finish that up again after California, up against this beautiful stone. Now back up here on the patio, I'm like, okay, we need some more color and we need some pillows. I was telling myself, don't do it, don't do it, wait until you get back from your trip, but I couldn't. So, these will be linked in my description box. I purchased these from my Am from Amazon. They'll be in my Amazon storefront. Love the check. It's very aged looking, the fabric. They all have zippers. You don't have to go out and, and purchase all these new pillows and have to store all these different feather pillows when you work with shams. I absolutely love working with shams. I have many of them in California and I'm looking forward to getting them back. So I actually purchased two packages. Comes with apples and lemons, pears and oranges. I will be keeping the oranges out in today's decorating. There's only a few left, so hurry on to my site.
Thank you.